this Japanese author, famed Japanese author, Famed Japanese author with no limbs confesses to five extramarital affairs as he prepares for his political career. Now, this will just go to show you yep. that girls will fuck anything. Not only that, but what you watching this right now, whoever you are, what is your excuse? Okay. This guy has no born with no arms, no legs. This guy is quite literally swimming in tang. This guy needs to be doing pickup seminars because honest to God, this guy's rolling into their house. And <laughs> by the way, though, they do say this. This is this is the ultimate of who girls say they will fuck. Yeah. Versus who they actually. They go. I need him to be, you know, over six feet. Mm -hmm. I'd like him to make some money. Uh, maybe a strong jawline, they said. Guys, what they actually do is, Japanese guy, no arms, no legs, rolling little bit in. Of little bit of status. Possibly doesn't have well, a dick. Uh, I think he's got a... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how he's doing Dude, imagine it. Imagine you're like, you get cheated on by the guy who has no dick. You go, you don't even have it. You're cheating on me for five chicks. You don't even have a fucking dick. God he's damn just a literal potato. Just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looking. Well, maybe that's why they like him, actually. You might have just explained the whole thing. He's in there. <laughs> it's all he could do. I don't understand. Like, like he's like r running to be like a how do you a bone? member of parliament. Does no, he, he's got a piece. Yes, okay, but you don't have any arms and legs. So, uh, like, how do you do I it? I think he's just kind of laying down the whole time. He so, must be. And then they... Oh, actually, you know what? So he's I just, just like legitimately just like lying down, no arms and legs, and then the girl's sort of on top of him. Well, it must be because even if he... like, Because I've seen stuff where people are like have no legs and they can kind of like move around, but he has no arms, so you're like to be doing this... He can't do anything. You're falling over. <clears throat> so yeah, they're probably just putting him down. Maybe they're inserting him inside of them. I don't know. They're just putting him the whole thing in. He gets hard though, apparently. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, for sure he does. Five chicks. This is and this is outside of the wife. The wife makes six. The best part though, the wife says because he's running for office, which is why all this stuff's coming out about him, right? And then he said when his marriage slipped into a rut, he started. <laughs> He got rolled into a rut. He got rolled into a rut, yeah. So he got into a bit of a rut, and then he started banging all these girls. And then his girl comes out, and she goes, um, who's been rumored to run for parliament as a candidate for the Democrats. When confronted, the man admitted his uh, mistress... I'm trying to find what the wife said. After his apology, his wife issued a statement which she said she shares responsibility for her husband's infidelity and feels deeply sorry for it. Because she wasn't putting up again... Yeah, Got, she was probably done with the... She wasn't giving him enough tang for yeah. the no no arm, no she leg man. She takes a little man. bit of the blame for it. But five. Like, how many guys were like, oh, I, you know, I can't exactly. get girls or whatever. You know, like, What's your excuse? You go, I'm... You go, I'm I said the same thing about Stephen Hawking when he was swimming in it. There's many, many guys. And by the way, I get it if you're a guy out there, um, you know, that gets on the forums. Oh, you try too hard, they call you creepy. You don't try enough, you're an incel. You got, you yeah, know, yeah. you got to find the perfect medium, right? There's ways around this, though. There's, I mean, this guy proves it. You got to, yes, you got to find the perfect medium. But this guy, barely any clout, by the way. Yeah, he's, he's just not got, Stephen he's like Hawking. an author. Like Stephen Hawking is like one of the most famous dudes in the world. Yeah, this guy's just some author that yeah, wrote like some crappy author, book and he's going to run it, for a small he's position. He's literally like an author and like a disability advocate guy. I don't know how he meets them, even though. Are like, they, I wonder if they're also. Different. Is he online meeting? I don't know. How did he meet these girls? I mean, think about the game this guy must have. Being like, he's like, he's like risen them up online with like the tube. That's what I'm saying. This guy needs to hold like pick up alpha male seminars. When you're paying for like jacked rich guy to tell you how to be an alpha male, and you're like, what the fuck do you know? Yeah. To be honest, true. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure, this could be a good pivot. And like yeah. this guy's like, and Japan. I actually know how to. Well, Japan has like the huge issue where like <laughs> all these guys are like never touched a woman and they just live at home and they don't do anything. You're like, okay, well, problem solved. This guy. Although, this do you think this guy's got like a massive hammer and he's just like, and the way that he's yeah, like these dressed. chicks are like, trust me, he, this guy's got one leg. <laughs> right? I know he says he doesn't have legs, but this guy's got a. Do you think leg Japanese no leg, leg, no arm guy's got like a fucking? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't think that. <laughs> Would be nice if he did, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's probably got a pretty average piece, and he's just got, I don't know, some sort of magnetism about him. Well, it, it, I'm curious where he met No, it all, doesn't. Though. Again, I know people that basically look like this guy. Yeah. They might, they're so just like... But with arms and legs. With arms and legs, but just That's a chubby a guy. Difference. yeah. But uh, my point is that they were just... I, I know the grossest guys that have banged tons of girls. Yeah. And it is really... It is a success story, 
but it should be one of those things where I think a lot of guys spend too much time online. I, dude, I've even seen, I was watching the other day. Uh, someone actually it might have been on the Patreon. Someone sent me it was like a, one of the alpha male seminars, mm-hmm. and he was going on and on about how like any man who's not like you know uh, money or whatever, but then more importantly, it was just like anyone who doesn't have like an eight pack and all that sort of stuff. And it was just like you know this is how you get girls and blah blah. And I was just like, man, like I know a million men that are like there's there's guys that are unemployed, sleeping in their mom's basement. And they're meeting up with a new girl every week. Yeah, and also if <laughs> you, know, you're su- every, you know, yeah, if you're like super weird with chicks and like not good at talking to them at all, you're like, yeah, going and getting super fit like might help you a little bit. Yeah, like, exactly. Some women might come up to you now versus they were. Well, before. being in shape is good, but that like next level where you're like, I'm just my whole life's working out or whatever. You're like, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, listen, I, I came up in the, you know, probably the skateboarding scene, the band scene, and then yeah. the comedy scene or whatever, like. Tell me, have you ever seen a scenario where the the most jacked guy was the guy who got the most no, girls? No, no. It's just like there's no correlation. No, not whatsoever. No, they get the most. Like du- I'm sure that Chris Williams and he types get like yeah get girls, but it's like not you know. So does a guy that looks like a fucking yeah, Pete average. Davidson. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and again, people are like, "Well, oh, I, you know, I need to be a millionaire." You're like, "No, you don't. No, you don't. You need to like written." A In book. fact, I w- probably my most times it was yeah. my most brokest. Yeah, I would say most guys that are like the actually like swimming in it the most, it's because they're broke. By the mm-hmm. way, when you're rich, you probably have a lot more stuff to do. Yeah, like on the truth is, like billionaire dude probably can't compete with. College kid who doesn't go to class <laughs> in no, terms of hell getting no. buzzy. Well, it's like the Elon Musk thing came out. He just, you got to bang people at work. <laughs> Elon Musk, exactly. Elon yeah, Musk has know. been trying to bang people at work. Yeah, you got to bang people at work. He goes, yeah, he works 18 hours a day. Where else are you supposed to bang him? What the fuck's else he's supposed to do unless he's online every day getting it set up for him? I guess. Dude, but... it's really hard to compete with a guy that just has 24 hours a day. Very hard. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll come over at 3 a.m. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Whereas, like, you're waking up at 3 a.m. for your job. <laughs> yeah. So I, I do think you're right. This is a very good uh, lesson for every dudes out there. I don't think people will take it, though. I don't think people will take this lesson. They'll, like, you think they're going to say that they'll, they'll rationally they'll cope it somehow? Somehow. They'll be like, oh, he's got something going on. <laughs> go, the guy doesn't have arms or legs. Five mistresses. Wasn't even like one affair. Oh, dude, can you imagine though? You walked home and he was banging your wife, <laughs> and then <laughs> you're like, "Where?" I, oh, I heard I, footsteps, and then he just accidentally rolls out from under the bed I where mean, he was dude, hiding. That guy's banging my wife. I'm literally punting you, him out of the house <laughs> like a fucking football. <laughs> you open the closet and he rolls through your legs. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that guy, that guy is getting kicked. <laughs> dude, that was so bad. To fucking walk into that guy is banging oh. your face, and then you just do the covers. He just goes, "Ooh!" <laughs> <laughs> just grab the knife. Just <laughs> you see how you you try to suffocate him or whatever. Yeah, seppuku, yeah. Seppuku. No, you, you do it to yourself. These well, sumo should have seppuku themselves after uh, this performance. The only good part actually you didn't mention was that at the end they were like, "We're gonna fight Reggie. Who wants to fight us?" And, the, <laughs> and so like just the drunk. That's the grand finale. Yeah, the grand finale was some just, like, black guy the from dr- the stands. Comes the drunkest to- people in the <laughs> show or whatever who weren't that drunk. 